important not to. It's just too important not to. It's too important not to. It's too important not to. It's too important not to. Because it's too important not to. In scouting, we will not compromise the safety of our youth, volunteers, or employees. Safety is a value that must be taught and reinforced at every opportunity. We are all responsible and must hold each other accountable to provide a safe environment for all participants. We are committed to injury and illness prevention by integrating safety measures in our handbooks, literature, and training materials, including the Guide to Safe Scouting. When incidents do occur, we expect a timely, clear, and complete incident report. We're committed to learning from the data and modifying program guidance for the prevention of future occurrences. This is a critically important topic for all of us as scouters. Although most youth enjoy a safe and wholesome experience in scouting, negative and dangerous interactions are always possible. We need to be aware of not only the types of abuse that can occur between one or more participants, but also how to build safeguards into scout meetings, outings, and other activities to reduce or eliminate incidents. As a volunteer or staff member, you must be prepared to prevent incidents as well as recognize, respond, and report when issues arise. Please note that most of these topics in our training and must be and may be difficult to discuss. However, the training is designed to be a safe place for reflection, understanding, and may lead to discussion of these topics before we face the tough situations in real life. Please don't hesitate to update your youth protection status today. It's too important not to. Our council must get to 100% of our registered leaders trained because of all the obvious reasons. On Friday, June 17th, the council will run a report of any registered scouter that's not up to date at that time and spend the next following days purging rosters of those that are not in YPT compliance. We can't help but express the importance of volunteers to our program and our reluctance to have to do it this way, but on June 30th, East Carolina Council will be 100% compliant as a council. Why? Because, because it's too important not to.